Hey guys, I'm John P and today we're going to take a look at the HP Z1 workstation. The computer God would build if he had to have a computer. Okay guys, you know that I primarily use a Mac as my main work computer. It's not because I'm a Mac guy versus a PC guy. I like PCs, but I do a lot of photography and video editing and so tend to uh, tends to be a little easier on Macs usually. Having said that, this is the computer that would turn me back into a PC guy if I were going to go that route. Just need a couple of little software tweaks in order to make it happen. Um, so we're going to take an in-depth look at the HP Z1 workstation. I have been fortunate enough, uh, HP loaned me this a few months ago. I've had it on my desk every day and I've been alternating back and forth using it. So the first thing I will tell you is this is the best computer that has ever been built that I have seen. I've never seen a better computer. I love it and there are a lot of reasons why, but they're not found in the specs. Having said that, let's talk a little bit about the specs. Um, it does come with a 27 inch IPS LED screen. It's fantastic screen. It's 2560 by 1440 resolution. Um, it's almost unmatched. It's a beautiful, beautiful screen, very sharp. It's, it's, I can't say enough about the screen. So when you build a computer around a very nice monitor, that's an excellent start. Now on top of that, over on the side, it's got either a DVD player slash writer or you can opt for a Blu-ray player or writer. It does have up to 32 gigs of RAM capability, 1600 uh, megahertz uh, or RAM, so it's very fast RAM. And you can option it up with either a single hard drive, it comes with either a 7200 or a 10,000 RPM drive. This one has a 10K drive in it. Or you can do up to two SSD drives. So you could, for example, put two 500 uh, me or gig uh, drives in there and stripe them together and make it super, super fast. Now, it has four video card choices ranging from the bottom of the line, which is an integrated video card that's uh, built in to the motherboard, all the way up to an NVIDIA Quadro, Quadro K4000M, which this one is f uh, loaded up with. It's very, very fast. Beautiful, beautiful for working with video and photos. It has a ton of ports. I'm going to show you those in a minute. But it's got six USB ports. It's got audio in, headphones out. It even has a subwoofer out port on it. And it has speakers, there are dual speakers in the front firing right at you right here. Uh, the sound that's integrated into it is quite good. Uh, it does have something I really love right up here at the top. It's got an integrated 1080p webcam and you can kind of turn a little dial and it points it, instead of being pointing out, it points it down so that it's, you don't get that creepy feeling that somebody might be watching you through your webcam. That is fantastic. Every computer should have that, but they don't. One other thing that I really find attractive about the HP is you can get up to a five-year warranty on this thing. And the reason why is because HP treats this as a really serious commercial workstation and they know it has to be durable and reliable. So it's going to have a range of processor options starting at the lower end with something like an i3 or an i5 processor, but you can go up to the Xenons which are the uh, lower power, cooler running uh, professional cores that can be implemented in up to multi-core processors on a motherboard. Now, you don't have to worry about what that means. Just know that if you option it up to the Xenon range, you're going to have a very reliable, cool running workstation that lasts a very long time. Um, the one It does come with a keyboard and a mouse, although one thing that I will say is I really don't like this keyboard. I mean, I, I would just throw it away. I wouldn't order it at all. Instead, I will recommend highly 
This little Logitech keyboard, it's the K810, and what's really cool about this keyboard is um, it's Bluetooth, so it will connect right to it, but it can be connected up to three different devices. So you could use it with like an iPad, with a phone, and with this, and you could switch back and forth and have multiple keyboards. So that's a little kind of Logitech plug in there in the middle of it. Let's take a look at what really, really differentiates this computer, and that is its serviceability. So it comes with a uh, stand that you can see uh, can be raised and lowered. Um, the, the monitor can be tilted forward or backwards. Um, I wish that the stand could go a little higher, and I wish it was a little bit stronger. It feels like it kind of wants to creep down on me a little, but other than that, it's, 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 it's a good stand. It's, it's a nice big base. But you can also fold the entire computer flat. And although HP would tell us never to do this with it on, you can clip two little latches and open the machine right up. And everything here is unbelievably accessible. You can hear, first of all, just how quiet it is. Actually, you can't hear how quiet it is, which is one of the things that's so incredible. But this has the big video card in it. Um, it has uh, dual fans here. It's got the 10K Velociraptor hard drive here, more fans, the uh, DVD drive here, RAM. What I want you to notice is all these little tabs with the green uh, bars on them. This is for servicing this unit. So all you have to do if you wanted to replace this video card, if I squeeze this tab, I can pull this straight out, slap another in, and keep going. So I want you to think about, let's say, IT departments where they have to service many, many computers. The ability to just roll up with a cart, open the top, put new components in and shut it and get people back to work is amazing. Also amazing is the fact that this computer can be optioned from the under $2,000 price range up to over $8,000. So really, um, you can meet all the needs of everybody in a work environment with it. Um, let's take a look at some of these ports that it's got. You'll see over here we've got some audio and USB ports on this side. And then also, if we take a look down here, I don't know, can we get to that, Dave? Can you see it? Now, the, you know, one other thing that I kind of feel like is a bit of a weakness I wish we could change would be it doesn't have Thunderbolt ports, which I know only Macs have, and it's not really built into uh, Windows to support yet, but I really want to see PCs move in that direction so we can have a lot more I.O. throughput. Anyway, I could go on for hours, and I will, but it's all going to be in the blog post that's associated with this review. So you guys head on over to geekbeat.tv forward slash Z1, and I will tell you all about everything you want to know about it. If you have any questions, you can ask them right there. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Go and pick up a, an HP Z1 if you're going to use it at home. If you have a work environment, replace all the PCs you have in your entire environment with these. Your people will love you. Your IT guys will love you. HP will love you. And heck, I love you already. See you later, guys.